Hey everyone, it's Esmon and there's going to be a big event coming up in November. It's going to be held over in the US, in Utah, Salt Lake City and it's called the Magic Summit. It's being organized by our friends over at Kingdoms TV and they have kindly invited me over as a content creator. There's going to be a whole lot of other content creators as well as influencers and uh, artists and some pro players as well. So it's looking to be a really big event. And it's very exciting for me because it's going to be my first ever overseas you know, magic event. There's going to be tournaments there, uh, 10Ks, 5Ks, all different formats from modern to pioneer and of course, commander. So it's going to be a big chance for me to meet all of you overseas viewers, especially those in the US, get in some games in person with you, even record a few games. That's what I'm really excited about. So if you're interested to take part in this event, go check out the details in the website link below. And if you do decide to buy tickets, please, please use my affiliate code ESMAN and you'll get 5% off your entire checkout order. And show it to me in person when we meet there and I'll bring some free merch for you as well. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quintessential MTG for another episode of Quintessential Commander. My name is Esmond. Today I'm joined by... I'm Stuart, also known as Lost in Space. I also have a YouTube channel mostly focusing on the card game Flesh and Blood. You can find the link in the description below. But he also plays Commander. I also play Commander. I am Matt, as usual. And I am Paul, as usual. <laughs> as usual. <laughs> as usual. And today we are playing with the new Dominera United legendary legend cards from Dominera United. Uh, we have a bunch of patrons suggested and voted decks. So a big shout out of course to the patrons. Thank you so much for supporting. If you want to join the patron page, patrons get early access. They get to play spell table games and at the highest tier, they get free signed merch. We also do a special patron shout out for every Quintessential Commander episode. And today's shout out goes to Eric, Eric Threadgold. Threadgold. Thank you so much for supporting us. Um, your support <laughs> really means a lot. If you also want to support us by buying merch, head on over to quintessentialcommander.com. Uh, we have playmats and we have t-shirts for sale. And also a big shout out to our camera equipment sponsor, Black Magic Design. These guys are loading us these two cameras here and a bunch of other equipment for us to record these games. <clears throat> and of course a big shout out to Game Haven Singapore. Uh, we're filming in the Game Saven studio. As I said, we're playing with a bunch of patrons suggested and voted on decks. Today, I am playing with Joda, the Unifier. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is a five-color deck. Joda is unifying his army of legendaries to beat down all the Phyrexians. No Phyrexians here. Which are them. No Phyrexians here. <laughs> so for today, they are the Phyrexians. I don't see any Phyrexians here. <laughs> yep, so just legendary tribal. Today, I'll be playing another Dominaria legend, Ragna the Blood Edge. I mean Ghana the Blood Fist. And uh, yeah. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. attack who? Esmond, it's still summer. No, no, it's I check, summer. It's I check, summer. I check. <laughs> summer goes until September 23rd. Today, I'm playing Balmor Battle Mage Captain. I'm basically playing lots of instants and sorceries. That's it, that's the deck. How, how do you win? Um, by playing lots of instants and sorceries. That's the trick. That's the <laughs> trick. That's, 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 that's the trick. <laughs> it doesn't win. <mean. laughs> So I am playing the top voted Patreon commander, Ivy Gleeful Spellfee. It tries to not be Ivy. Yes. Yes, that is the goal. <laughs> oh, okay. So she's stealing other identities. Yes. 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 Okay, very cool. Um, of course, uh, this is the Dominaria United main set. So for our next episode, we're probably going to feature Dominaria United commander cards. So as usual, you know, leave a comment down below which commanders, which legends would you like to see on the next episode. And of course, like and subscribe and share. Thank you so much. Let's go! Let's see if Joda goes first because he is the eternal unifier. No, Arch but... Uh, yes! yes. Oh, it's yeah. rigged! Rigged! It's rigged! It's rigged! rigged. <laughs> okay. It's Joda! Joda has to start first. Okay, we revolt against the leader. Okay, so I will start and draw for turn. Excellent! Not good. I will play Plaza of Heroes, a new card. So I can tap for colorless or one mana if it's a legendary spell. I will tap for zero and play Rograk, son of Rogar. So it's a zero one first strike, menace, trample, and partner. Alright. Nice. Yep, yeah, I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw a card for turn. I've got a very scary first play. I will play Mountain, pass. 
Very nice. nice. Very scary. <laughs> Represent the lightning bolt. Draw. <laughs> I will play a command tower. I will tap it for a blue. I will play an embodiment of spring. It is a 0-3 Mishra's Bauble. <laughs> okay, so again, okay, second to... Search library for basic land cards, yes. put it into battlefield. It's tap. quite amazing. Nice. Mishra's Bauble, you mean Wayfarer's Bauble? Yeah, right? Yes, yes, Wayfarer's Bauble. Alright, my turn, the raw. Play a mountain. Tap for one. Cast everyone's favorite, Sol Ring. Oh my god. Very nice. Tap for oh, two. Yeah. Cast everyone's favorite, nah, Top Vessel. Where's the Vandal Blast, Paul? Hmm? Not today. <laughs> Not today! Yes! Alright, my turn. I will what? untap <laughs> and draw. I'll play another legendary card. Minamo, School at Water's Edge. I can untap legendary permanence. I get the feeling that you just wanted to flex your collection with this deck. Okay, then I will tap two and play a Felwar Stone. That's not legendary. Yeah, well, it's good. <sighs> Combat! And Matthew. Okay, All I'll right. take it. I'll take zero. Okay, pass. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw a card. It would be funny if it being tapped is the reason why he loses. <laughs> <laughs> I will play a Shivan Reef. I will tap two to play a Talisman of Creativity. Nice. Very nice. Yes. Very creative. And then tap one for Vandal Blast. Tap one I do not, I do not, I do not have a Vandal Blast. Disappointed. So I will pass. Righto, I will untap, I will draw. I will play a forest and I will say go. Okay, my turn. And tap, I'll keep the draw. With four mana. With five mana, I lay a Dragon Skull Summit. Oh no. Uh, what do I do with this five mana? I tap for three. A Kasubira. Oh no, that's haste. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll tap for two. A cast Loyal Apprentice. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, is it a Subira deck? Perhaps. With black. Okay, I'm going to combat. Yep. yep, attack as well. Yay! Not even going to split it up. Uh, I need to punish you for that rogue grab play. Okay, so I'll take 4. 4, yep. Down to 36. And I'm done. I will untap my legendary cards. And draw. I will play tap land. Check me as a garden. And then I will just tap 3. I have green. So I will play Reki, the history of Kamigawa. Very nice. Legendary spell, draw a card, right? Yes, whenever I cast a legendary spell, I draw a card. And Rogue Grug will defend, so I'll pass. Now he will block. <laughs> now <laughs> he's he not gonna block. <laughs> <laughs> it's just defending, but not yeah. blocking. So I will untap upkeep, draw a card. I will play Island. Pass. During your end step, I will tap 2, I will sacrifice the embodiment of spring. I will tutor up an island and put it into the battlefield tapped. Very nice. Then I will untap. Mm -hmm. I will draw for turn. Oh, very nice. I will play a hinterland harbor. Then I will tap 2 and play a storm chaser drake. It is a 2-1 with heroic draw card. Okay, very nice blue heroic cut. Yes, a blue heroic, Excellent. and I will say go. I'll keep draw. Fascinating. Play a Haunted Reach because I have two or more other lands, it comes in untapped. And. Yeah, tap four, cast Garna. And. Go to combat. Okay, at the beginning of combat, since I control Garna, Loyal Apprentice will trigger. And I get flying man, flying robot. Nice. Okay, since Esmond wants me to spread it out, I'll attack Esmond with <laughs> <laughs> Subira, Lawyer Apprentice. I'll attack Stuart with Ghana. I'll attack Is Paul with the top. Oh, sorry, I'll attack Stuart with the top. Ah, okay. Yep. That's not spreading it out much. Yeah, it's spreading out, but fair enough. Uh, I will not block. Any block? I'll take them. No, no, I've got nothing. Alright, so I take four. Down yeah. to 32. Still, it takes one. I'll take one. Yep. Yep, and I'm done. Nice, nice. My turn. Okay, now uh, your end step, going to Cyclonic Rift the... Oh. All right. Reki. Reki goes back to my hand. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. And then it goes to my tempo. Drawing, drawing lots of cards is scary. Then I draw for turn. Well, I will play Shizo, Death's Storehouse. It's a duo. <laughs> It can give a target legendary creature fear until end of turn. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna pass. Yep. So, okay, yep. my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw card. 
I will play a Castle Vantress. Uh, tap one, two, three. I will play an Ardent Elementalist when it ETBs return target instant or sorcery spell to my hand. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's why it was played. Oh no! Uh, then I'm going to tap to ping one. Renegade Tactics on my Ardent Elementalist. Target creature can't block this turn. Okay. Draw a card. Okay. So... Okay, that's the end of my turn. I'll untap. I won't draw for turn. I will lay Castle Ventress. Mm, I will tap two. I will be very, very slow. And I will play Ivy. Yes. Then that be slow. No, it's, it's still slow. Oh, well, you know what? I just bounced back to hand. Yeah. <laughs> so what I could do, I could bounce something else, yeah, and then Paul can copy it. <laughs> to target. Okay, I will say go. I don't think I don't think he wants to. <laughs> Aww. Right turn. Very and step up. Keep the raw. Okay, I'll tap for two, and cast a rockless signet. Three. Okay. So need much some, mana. Need some color. Three lands and three rocks. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll tap two. I'll cast a Blood Artist. Oh! Very strong. Very um, strong. I... No, I'll go in combat first. Okay. Okay, so at the beginning of combat, when I apprentice triggers, I get another Top Tower. Yep. Top Tower 2. I should actually spray it out this time. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I think, I think. Okay, so Karna attacks Esmond. No. Uh, apprentice and Subira attack Stewart, and the two Top Tours attack Port. Yeah, no blocks. No blocks. No blocks. Eh? No blocks. No blocks. No blocks. No blocks. So, no blocks, no problem. Okay, sure. Yep. So I'll take four. I take how much? Four as well. Four, yep. And Paul takes two. And yeah, I'm done. Alright, at the end of your turn, I will tap four. And I will flash out Wrath Capation, the ship's mage. Historic has flash, right? Yes, so it has flash and flying, and I can cast historic spells as though they have flash. Right. And I will untap. Fresh. I will draw. No lens. Uh, I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> he's holding up something. He's holding up his oh. commander. Of course, he, of course he's holding <laughs> up something. He's holding up his commander. Yeah, his flesh. <laughs> so I will untap. I'll keep your card. And stop off. Um, do I? Play a cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you're trying to do. Just innocently. Oh, play, play cantrip. I'll play, I will, I'll play an Island. Tap. Two blue, colorless, colorless, so I don't take anything. Teferi's Ageless Insight. Oh, Yay, nice. double draw. And now can too. <laughs> <laughs> then I shall pass. Huh. Always holding up the Zachronic Reef. Just yeah. untap. <laughs> can you please step on? <laughs> draw. I will play Forest. And play Cantrip. Then I will not play a Cantrip. I will tap four. I will cast Dream Tail Heron with Mutate targeting oh. my Storm Tracer Drake. Oh no. Oh, very nice. Uh-oh. Now's the time. Come on, uh, Stuart. This is what the two mana is for. And then, so then Storm Tracer Drake because and Ivy will trigger. Storm Tracer Drake and Ivy will trigger. So there are two triggers on the stack above my Dream Tail Heron, yes. which are that I will draw a card and, and I can copy the spell. spell. So yeah. I will choose to copy the spell Dream Tail Heron at first. So the copy mutates onto Ivy. Yeah, the copy mutates onto Ivy yeah. on top and I will draw a card yeah. for the trigger for Storm Tracer Drake. Yeah. Yep. So in response to that, I will tap a blue and a red to Cyclonic Rift. Ivy. Ivy. That is nice. fine. That is good. So Cyclonic Rift resolves, yeah. Ivy comes back to my hand, nice. but the copy of Dream Hill Heron from Ivy is still on the stack. Yeah. So, so it will come in as a creature. So I will resolve that, I will draw a card from Storm Tracer Drake, then I will create a copy, copy. of Dream Hill Heron. Copy. copy. So now the Dream Tail Heron will mutate on top of the Drake, okay. and whenever the Drake mutates, I draw a card. Yep, yep. Wow. Then I will tap two, and I will play Ivy. Why not? Why not? Oh, uh, okay. Then I will move to <laughs> combat. Since I have a 3 4 flyer, I will swing at Matthew 4 3. Of course, I'll take it. Take 3 4. Yep, and I will say go. Alright, uh, my turn. Untap, ready to kill Paul. <laughs> Upkeep, ready to kill Paul. Kill Paul. Draw to kill Paul. Ooh! Okay, I'm going to lay one of my favorite lens. Kerr Keep! Nice! Yes. I really like this card. It is a good card. It is a great card. I love it. So, 
I could deal with the board. Huh. Well, it's not exactly a clear clear, it's just... Whatever helps you to win. I highly recommend killing my opponents. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll do the, I'll do the black the play black then. Play. Yeah, the black player play. Okay. I'll cast Liliana, Dread Hot, oh, General. No. Uh oh. That's bad. And then I will minus four. Right, I will respond to oh. the minus then. Yep, okay, I'll just tap three and I will flash in Reki. He's back! He's back! Uh, okay. Any more responses to the ability? Nope. Tap out. Please. Yes, I sacrifice two top tails. I will sacrifice Wrath and Rograk. I'll sacrifice my Ardent Elementalist. I will Leave sacrifice it. Ivy and the Copy Token. Okay. 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 Yep. Yep. So, sa sacrifice. Sacrifice. <laughs> then Liliana triggers. Uh, when creature control dies, I draw a card. So, I draw two cards. Then uh, Blood Artist also triggers. Then I'll target. Six. There are seven Blood Artist triggers. Seven. So yeah, seven. Seven triggers. Oh, and Paul! Oh, and Paul! Paul! <laughs> it's a common, it's a common. <laughs> it's a common stack on an uncommon, that makes it a rare. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes! Common or common. <laughs> okay, Esma makes a good point, yeah. Okay. Can't seven. argue with that logic. Sure, seven. Wow. <laughs> yeah, infallible logic. <laughs> okay, again, seven. Yeah, you're up to 44 though, that's bad. It's not done. Garna also triggers. Oh, yes. right. So uh, I've had two two creatures under my control die. So uh, they weren't attacking. So I'll deal one damage to each opponent. Okay. Two damage. Yeah. Wow, we're dying. And now I go into combat. Okay. A lawyer apprentice triggers at the start of my combat. Doctor. And I'll attack Stewart with Garna, lawyer apprentice, and the doctor. Ooh, nice. Okay. No blocks. No blocks. Okay. Then uh, before damage, I will tap two. Uh, tap Subira, activate Subira's ability. I'll discard my hand. Okay. Yep. Uh, when a creature with power 2 or less deals combat damage, I'll draw a card. Yep. Then damage? 7 damage. Yep. Okay, so I'll take 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I draw 2 cards actually because Ghana is too powerful. So Subira draws 2 cards. Yeah, that's, that's how much yeah. Okay, and then I will untap. And draw. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap 5 and I will play Joda. The Unifier, the Unifier. So it comes in, Reki triggers, I will, well, when you cast it, I draw a card. Yep. Okay, and then I will play the card that I drew, a Sacred Foundry, tapped, and I pass. Upkeep, nothing, draw a card. Okay, so I'll expressive iteration. Oh no! So I will look at the top three cards of my library, put one into my hand, one on the bottom of my library, and exile one of them. Okay. I and can play the exile card this turn. Yes, but you don't draw two cards. Yeah, you're not drawing cards. Yeah. It's a no. useless, useless yeah. enchantment. Anti synergy. Anti synergy. <laughs> <laughs> Why was this card even banned in the first place? <laughs> exile. exile, hand, bottom. Exile will be played from the exotic orchard. Yeah. I will tap three, I'll take one damage. Imperial Recruiter. All right. When it enters the battlefield, I can search my library for a card. Well, I'm going to search for a card. The card's name is Displacer Kitten. Kitty! Oh. I'm going to search for my kitty cat. That's something we should be afraid of. Yes, it is. No, you should not. It's the just, kitty it's flickers just a the kitty recruiter cat. to find clone, to clone the kitty, to flicker the recruiter to find another clone. So I find the Displacer Kitten. Okay, so kitten goes to your hand. So kitten, kitty, kitty, kitty cat goes to hand, and you know what? I will do it just for the funsies. I will slip through space my Imperial Recruiter. Target creature can't be blocked this turn, draw a card, so Very I'll draw nice. two. Draw two cards. Finally, making use of the fairy's yes. ageless insight. Okay. That'll be it. Untap. I will fulfill my duty. Yes. Yes. Your destiny. I will draw. Your destiny is to remove. My destiny. The Dreadhought General. I will play an island. I will move to combat. Yes. I will swing at the Dreadhawk General. Yes, Dreadhawk General dies, no one is surprised. Bye bye. <laughs> I will play Ivy. Again. 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 Oh, then my mana is screwy and I can't do anything effective. Nice. So it's hold up counter spell and pass. So it's hold up counter spell and pass. Okay, he doesn't have a counter spell. I <laughs> protection okay. though. <laughs> my turn. And tap. Keep draw. Okay. So I'll tap four. I'll cast Hellrider. Ooh, that's a good one. Thanks. Whenever creature I control attack, uh, it will deal 1 damage to the defending player. Bad news. So, does Hellrider resolve? Yes, it does. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so then I'll go in combat. Sure. I would like to point out this place a kitten's power. 
Yes. <laughs> I am aware of this place and this power. So, Light Apprentice will trigger. Since I control Gana, I'll make another top tail. Uh, if you get him to 2 life, I can finish him off. 2 life? <laughs> wow. No, actually not, not out, not impossible. Not impossible? <laughs> not impossible. Okay, since I have the mana for it anyway, I'll just pay 1 and make a Loyal Apprentice unblockable this turn. Nice. Okay, so, I've decided. So, Loyal Apprentice will attack Esmond, Hellrider and Subira will attack Stuart, then Gana and the two top players will attack Pop. Okay. Hellrider will, Hellrider will trigger for yeah. each one. Okay. One creature is attacking Esmond, he'll take one. Mm -hmm. Two creatures are attacking Stuart, he'll take two. And three creatures attacking Paul, he'll take three. Okay. okay, so Hellrider triggers. So, I can't block. No blocks. I will block with my face. Nice. Very <laughs> nice. Alright, damage. Damage. I take damage. Damage. Yeah, dying. Yes. And I'm done. Okay, I'm tap. I just need to find a land. Tap land. <laughs> Not a land. <laughs> so I will tap 4 mana. And I will play Halana and Alena. Halana and Alena. Partners. Halana and Alena and Alena. Yep, so I have two cast triggers. Uh, I will resolve Reki first, so I will draw. And then I'll resolve Yoda. So reveal. The exile cards from the top of my library until I hit a legendary non-land card with lesser mana value, which I can cast for free. Yeah, so legendary cascade. Let's go. Let's go. Trio. Oh no. Sun Quan. <laughs> oh, that's the one. Sun Quan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bravos. Spectator seating. Oh, Sisi. My other commander. Wow, he really, yeah, he really got the best <laughs> ones, yeah. Uh, All right. So. Alright, so I cast this for free. Reki yes. will trigger, I will yes. draw another card. Yes. Oh no. What's this legendary card? Who's game? playing the Storm deck now? Deck? <laughs> Five color Storm. Yes. Legendary Storm, That's legendary Storm. storm. Uh, yep, so everything is pretty big now. I drew a land, so I will play Sea of Clouds. Very nice. Should I... Oh, maybe I can kill him. Ooh. What? <laughs> can you just say that what? Legendary creatures you control get plus X plus X where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. Then he does the buff with the with the two lovers, right? <laughs> yes, this, this gives a yeah. lot of power. But I don't want to kill you. I want your deck to do its things to it. So, are you going to win though? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to let you do your thing, but not too much. Uh, it'll prob it probably won't be that good. I trust you. No, right, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see either, how it goes. Way, either way, let it be entertaining. Yes. yes. Entertain us. That's In that case, I will still move to combat. Yes. The partners will trigger. So the partners are currently at 6, 7. So I'll put 6 plus 1 counters on a creature I control, and that creature gains haste. Is it Sisei? Since you're not, <laughs> since you're changing up the plan. It is Sisei. <laughs> I knew it. Sisei is gigantic now. Yeah, it's a Cissé 7 plus 6. Well, Sisei is gigantic. Sisei is bigger than Judah. Um, yeah. I am afraid of the kitten as well. <laughs> so <laughs> don't be! <laughs> I will send Reki and Sisei both at Stuart. Two attackers. Reki is a uh, 5-6. Oh no, I have to throw my Imperial Recruit in front of it. Yes. Oh no! Yeah. Very and you take the Reki damage. Yeah. Sisei runs over Conscriptors. Yes. And mm. you get wrecked. So I take 5. You take 5. Oh, Sisei is huge. New plan. New plan. New plan. No, no. <laughs> New plan. New plan. <laughs> New plan. New plan. <laughs> I will pass. So that's that's my next turn completely dead. Well, at you're least at target. least you're not dead. You kind of forced him to. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I didn't plan for Sisei to come out. It just happened. It just happened. <laughs> I will play a Moontan. Moontan. Yep. Blue, blue, colorless, colorless. I'll play Talran Sky Summoner whenever I cast an instant nice. or sorcery spell. Create a two-two blue Drake creature token with Ooh. flying. And start cantripping. Correct. Cerulean Wisps target creature becomes it. blue until end of turn. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. That was fast. IV triggers. IV triggers. I will copy it. Okay, so you draw Mine. a card then. So IV becomes, so IV blue. becomes blue. <laughs> <laughs> and untaps. And untaps. Yeah, then okay, then the original Cerulean Wisp will trigger. Okay, the original Cerulean. Okay, well, first of all, Talrand will trigger. So I get a 2 2 blue Drake creature yes. token with flying. Yeah, the Wisp, wisp resolves. I mean, you could draw two cards. Yeah, I'll draw two cards. It is... Ooh. Ooh! Oh no. Oh no. That sounds bad. Tap two, play Arcane Signet. Nice. Okay. Good. Good card. Okay, and um, that is the end of it. I will draw. What do I do now? Cantrip. Cantrip. Cantrip's the decks. Cantrip. <laughs> Cantrip sounds right. Cantrip sounds right. I'm not going to lie. 
I mean, Paul, Paul's stealing my cantrips off yeah. me. No, you, you really think he doesn't have cantrips of his own? He definitely has cantrips <laughs> of his own. If I cast this, do I die though? I probably will, but it's more fun this way. Oh, I'll no. tap 5. I will cast Soul's Majesty targeting Dreamtail Heron. What does that do? Draw cards equal the power of target creature <laughs> I control. Look at his cantrip. Look at his cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cantrip. <laughs> because it's targeting the Dreamtail Heron, which is actually a Storm, Storm Chaser, Chaser Drake. Drake. I will draw a card and Ivy will also copy it. So Great. the copy of Soul Smash will let me draw two cards because Ivy is power two. Okay, yes. so the copy resolves first. Yep, draw two. I will draw two. Then the Storm Chaser Drake resolves. Actually, whichever one you yeah. want to And I will draw a card. And then this, the original resolves, and I will draw three. Nice! And you will realize that you did not uh, have a Reliquary Tower, so you just... That's fine, that's fine. I need to find like the appropriate pieces. I will tap two. I will play Thought Vessel. There you go! Ah, there you go! <laughs> there we go! Easy <laughs> problem. There, there we go! <laughs> It all worked out. It all worked out. <laughs> it is amazing. I will attempt to save myself and say go. Okay, so on pause and step, I will activate Kirkis mm -hmm. and I will make one of my prized possessions the Koboldi de la Rocaforte de Kel. De Kel. De Kel. De Kel. That's awesome. And draw. Uh, I'll lay a Sulfur Springs. Do I want to get hit for a million? From Cissé? <laughs> it's not even Cissé! You go to your turn, Helena pumps Joda, die to Commander Damage. I tap 2. Yeah, I can't Zula put Oh no, it's another Blood Artist. Yes, it's another Blood Artist. And then... Do I have enough mana for this? Tap 2, both red, so I can kick. Goblin Bush Waker. Oh my god. Oosh, that's big. So because it's kick? Because it's kick, creatures get plus 1 and haste. Uh, yeah, we're going to combat. Start of combat, I apprentice triggers, I get a doctor. Doctor 3. Okay, plan the Esmond attack properly. It's not the- Come on, come on, kitten, kitten, focus on the kitten. I don't think a kitten's particularly dangerous <laughs> yeah. right now. Oh, no. the, the recruiter's gone here. Focus on the million cards in Paul's head. He, he blinks, he blinks Tauran. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I'll activate Subira three times oh to gosh. make three creatures unblockable. Uh, yeah, Apprentice, Pushwacker, and Cutthroat. Oh no, Apprentice is not. The oh, Apprentice is not. Three okay, power so now. Blood yeah. Artist then. Yeah. So Blood Artist, Goblin, and Zulaport Cutthroat. Uh, unblockable. No, unblockable. Sure. And then... Uh, Top Test for Stuart, everything else for Esmen. Hellrider triggers on all of them. Oh my god. So 5 attacking Esmen, 3 attacking Stuart. Yep, I take 5 from Hellrider. So I take 3. Oh, just the defending yep. player. Okay. And then I move the blocks. Yeah. Joda will block the Hellrider. Alana will block the Kobolda, the Kerkeeper. <laughs> okay, so before damage, I will tap 2, activate Subira, I will discard my hand. <laughs> and then damage. Damage. So I will take 5 damage from the unblocked stuff. Yep. Down to 13. Down to 3. So Subira will trigger. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, and then uh, the damage here, this one dies, Karna will trigger. Mm -hmm. So since those two died in combat, I will draw cards. Yep. Draw, two, draw cards. two cards. And then uh, six creatures did damage, then from Subira I'll draw six cards. Goodness. So two creatures died, so Blood Artist and Zulapot will both trigger. Yep. I'll drain each opponent for two. <laughs> and then Blood Artist is targeted, I'll drain Paul for two more. Okay. What about Stuart? Kill Stuart! <laughs> <laughs> Lightning Bolt Range! <laughs> Lightning Bolt Range! Uh, gain four. You gain four? Yeah, it's oh, 2 inch. Yeah, yeah 2 okay. inch. That's my turn. We're, we're definitely killing Matthew, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah. I have a thought vessel, so I keep my hand! Okay. Do what do. Gonna I do? can assist in killing the, in the <laughs> plan of killing Matthew. <laughs> no, he's <easy. laughs> Yes. <laughs> Moral of the story, be very careful what you tutor for. <laughs> yeah. Be very careful what you tutor for. There's <laughs> yeah, a political thing. Should, 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 I, should I have just held out the Imperial Recruit until I could Imperial Recruit a plus Kitten plus Blink plus Fetch? Okay, anyway, yeah. it is my turn. Yes. yes. I will untap. And I will draw. Yep. And I will find a way to kill Matthew. Well, How much damage can you do? I, I have no idea. Okay, so he gives Cissé fear and then he pumps Cissé one more time, so it's uh, 12, 5, So four. one of them is definitely getting in, right? Yeah. So that's 21, 23 damage. Then double strike. Yep, I can kill him. Yeah. 
<laughs> now the question is, we want to do this. <laughs> What happens if we kill Matthew? What if happens you, if we kill Matthew? If you kill Matthew, Esmond wins. That's, no, no, that, I think that's, Paul wins. That's quite literally all that is. I think it. Paul wins. Paul <laughs> I don't think I win yet. I will tap two. And I will play Kari Zev. Skyship Ooh. Raider. One, two mana, one, three, first strike menace. But what happens is Reki and Joda will Oh, trigger. that's very cool. Ragavan is legendary. Yes. <laughs> that's very cool. So I'll resolve Reki first. I will draw and then trigger Joda. So let's go 1 CMC or less. Do you have a 1 CMC legend anymore? No. Now that Rogra is... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I do. It might take some time to <laughs> find it. To find if I have one. <laughs> <laughs> and was... Oh, there we go, Ragavan! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done here, we're done here, we're done here. Esmond wins, Esmond wins for flavor. He's done it twice, he's done it, he's done it twice, okay? Okay. There wasn't flavor. much choice, it was like, you know. Flavor, let's go home everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I cast Ragavan for free. Yes. I will draw a card from Reki. Very nice. Very nice. And then I will play my land for turn. Which is... No, but this way Ragavan has... No this haste. way Ragavan doesn't have haste. Yeah, yeah no haste. Ragavan does not have haste. Not yet. Not yet. Uh oh. You know what? You know what? I will do my thing. I will tap 5. Yep. I will activate CC. Okay, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. What we get in... Now, I, I'm gonna go defensive. Defensive? I will find Ethica, my third commander. You what now? <laughs> <laughs> That's not defensive. Vigilance isn't strictly a defensive play. Vigilance is pretty defensive. So other legendary creatures I control have Vigilance. Very and nice. can tap for one mana of any color. Very nice, very nice. And then I will move to combat. Sweet. Halana will trigger. Yes. It is currently a... It's a 9 power. Okay. So I will put 9 plus 1 counters on the one and only Karizev. And Harry Jeff will get haste. No, okay. No, okay. Very nice. And attack Matthew with everything. Not all in Matthew, no. No, I'm a, I'm a nice guy, I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna force people to block. <laughs> I will send these three legends at Matthew, this one legend at Paul, which is Reki, and one Halana at uh, Stuart. So on the attack trigger, Karizev will bring in. The original Ragavan. Which immediately dies because of the legend rule. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How can you possibly <laughs> dispute? It's time travel. You we think a... you think Karizev <laughs> would appreciate you just putting any random monkey in front of her and say, oh, this must be Ragavan. So the token Ragavan is a 2-1, comes in tapped and attacking. So, and it is also legendary. It's right? also legendary. Yeah, legendary. So because of Joda, all my creatures are getting plus 8, plus 8. Sure. Do, yes. I, do I actually die though? 28, 13, 28, 13 is 41. 41 damage. 41 is fine. He was threatening the double strike earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> Two mana. Can, you think he got double strike? Yep, okay. Uh, Gana blocks CC, Apprentice blocks Joda. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and the both of you? Yeah, Drake blocks the Halana. Uh -huh. Heron blocks Ricky. Heron? Heron. Okay. Okay, okay, before damage. No, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. It's really happening. I must kill Matthew. Oh yeah, actually, if you if you if you kill if you manage to one shot Matthew now, then the Zulaport Cutthroat doesn't trigger. He's right. Meaning that I still survive. No. Do it, do it, do <laughs> it, do it. <laughs> I will tap my Reki for red, and I will tap Karizef for white, and I will play Boros Charm. Target creature Holy gains double strike. <laughs> 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 Target Kari Bor Zev. Huh? Boros Trump had a mode like that. I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought he dealt four damage. <laughs> so Kari Zev now has double strike. Okay. So Kari Zev is doing eighteen double strike, and yeah. Ragavan is ten. Yep. So that's forty six damage. Yep. Yep. And the rest of you, your creatures die. Oh, and your creatures die as well. Okay. okay. So how many creatures die? Two creatures. Uh, four creatures die. Okay. So all my triggers. Uh, so Ghana, Blood Artist, and Zulapot. Cheers, Asmund. <laughs> all three, all three of them uh, go on stack. I'll let Zulapot's one resolve first. Okay. So uh, two of my creatures die. So I drain everyone for two. Okay. Bye, Stuart. Yep. Then Blood Artist is targeted. Uh, four creatures die. I'll drain Esmond for four. Ouch. Okay. Then uh, Gunner's trigger. One other creature I control died. So I'll ping everyone for one. Ouch. Wow! I almost died too. So at the end of combat, Ragavan, the original. That's right, die. Ragavan's exile. He no. says exile at the end of combat. So goodbye, Ragavan! <laughs> and I will pass. Come on, Dad. Draw for turn. I will play an island. Yep. With the island, I will play a slippery bogle. 
We're all here playing Commander. Oh, no. <laughs> Paul turns up with a Bogle's deck. Oh, no. You underestimate my power. <laughs> I will tap four. I will mutate the Bogle with a Pouncing Shawshark on oh, top. Oh no. Ivy will copy the mutate and become a copy of a Pouncing Shawshark. So she is now a 4-3. So Ivy Gleeful Shawshark. Ivy Gleeful Shawshark, definitely not Ivy. Yep, okay. Definitely not Ivy. So, so because, so the two mutate triggers happen, yep. I will bounce the Reach creature. Uh, Halana. Right? Halana. Halana. There's only one with Reach, right? Yes. Yeah. Do I respond? Am I dead? You would be. be because if you don't have Reach, then... Um, Ivy is six for four. Well, while she's still around, I will just tap her for mana. So I will tap three, and I will activate the Plaza of Heroes, the last ability. I will exile it, and I will give Essica Hexproof and Indestructible for this turn. Okay. Okay, okay. Then Halana is bounced to my hand. Yes, that okay. is correct. Alright. And then you have another mutate trigger? Yes, and then I will bounce another creature. Yeah, I'll probably be the, like the Zula Port cutthroat. Zula Port? Zula Port, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Zula Port. Now I move to combat. Yeah. Then I swing the flying shore shark at Esmen for four. Essica, who is a tree. No, 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 no. She, she is not the tree, she is the god. She's the god of, of the tree. tree. <laughs> I knew some shit like this was coming. <laughs> Yeah, I will die. <laughs> okay. I take four and I'll die. Exact Now, Exact I need to make sure that I don't <laughs> die to a bazillion creatures coming at me, right? Perhaps. So I will tap three. I will cast with the three mana. Quasi duplicate. Oh my gosh. Targeting my pouncing shore shark. Which of course targets your which pouncing shore shark. Copies a copy of the pouncing shore shark that flies, which is Ivy. Yep, very nice. <laughs> So I have two more copies. Two more copies. Mm. This is so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say go. Oh, then maybe it's... Okay, the wrong. I will dramatically lay my land for turn. Westville Abbey. Very nice. Okay, can I kill Paul? Yeah, tap two. Impact tremors. Oh, good one. Then tap two. Zula pot cut to. Yep. Tremors then... will trigger. Back tremors will trigger. That's one. You. 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 Last but not least, uh, dash Madu Strike Leader. No. <laughs> what? Okay. What yep. are you uh, When it attacks, I make a 2 1 Black Warrior creature. So ETB. So ETB tremors triggers again. You. Okay. You. You. Okay, uh, I'll take one from Sulphur Spring for Black. <clears throat> then I'll cast Fire Action VV Sector. Ah, when the creature control right. dies, then I will scry one. You got it. Okay, one more damage from Impact Tremors. Yeah, one more damage from Impact Tremors. Then I go to combat. Okay, sure. Three weenies and the doctors at Paul. They can be blocked? Yeah, they all can be blocked. Then uh, Madu Strike Digger will trigger, then I'll make a Black Warrior. Tremors. I will block. Tremors will okay, trigger. Tremors trigger. I will block pew. all three. Pew pew pew. All three ground ones. Yes, all three the ground ones. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I will block. Before damage, I will tap my command tower for green mana. I will cast Tamiyo yes. Safekeeping nice. on my Slippery Bogle. Stonks. Very stonks. Okay, so it gets hexproof and indestructible and you gain two life. Yep. For, so, all, so the IV copies will copy it. So I get two more copies of Tamiyo Safekeeping. Yep, so gain six life. So I gain six life. So uh, these three die and the top test three. Yeah, that's right. And then uh, Blood Artis and Zulapot both uh, ping you for 3 each. Yeah. So 6. Then I gain 6. And then VV Sector triggers, I will scry 1 twice. Yep. Yeah. All 3 and bottom. Yep. No more tricks. Done. Draw for turn. This is very interesting. What don't do I have in my graveyard? Don't la, don't la. There is a Soul's Majesty there. No, not more cards! That doesn't really do anything. I just need to block, right? Then I'll, I'll eventually get drained out. What do I do? I should make sure I don't die suddenly, right? I will... Okay, I will swing for 8 in the air, I guess. Yep. yep. Can't do much about that. Yep. Taking 8. 
and one of them is actually IV, right? Yes, one <laughs> of them is actually IV. Take, uh, take four commander. <laughs> I wonder if that even matters. I'll tap three. I will discard a shock land mm -hmm. in order to sh jump start oh, quasi duplicate. Nice. Targeting flying short shark. Okay. Hoken. So you get two more flying IV short sharks. Yep, so I get two more flying IV short sharks. And then the flying, then the actual quasi duplicate will resolve, and I'll get a third one, right? Yes. Yes. So you get because two of these are IV, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you have five IV short sharks. I have now got five IV short sharks. If you got like any any, any new tape, we'll we'll win. We'll, we'll we'll do that. No, but I'm more afraid of dying, so I will play Archaeomancer. Okay. Okay. I will return Hymio safekeeping from my. <laughs> 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 and I will say go. Okay, draw. Okay, I'll activate curve keep. And I'll make one more Cobaldi de la Rocaforte de Care. And then. And then kill it. And then, yes, I will kill it. I will sacrifice it to a demon lord. Yeah. Uh, I'll activate Westville Abbey. Yeah. Final ability. I'll sacrifice five creatures. Oh, sorry. Uh, impact tremors for the Cobalt. Yeah. Oh, yes. One. Uh, sacrifice five creatures. Three doctors and the tokens. Okay. Sacrifice, then a zero pot and blood artist trigger for all of them. That's 10 life. Yep. So I am forced to respond with this. I will cast Timeo Safekeeping. Yeah, I should target the Bogle one, the Bogle Short Shark. Okay. Yeah. So then so, five IVs will trigger. Then, yeah, so then the five IVs will trigger and I will gain 12 life. 12 life. And now they're all hexproof. And they're all the hexproof and indestructible. Uh, and, and then, then I get drained for 10. For 10. Yeah. yeah, I gain 10. Oh. This is a fun game! Fun game! <laughs> Biggie Zector, I will scry one five times. Yep. One is at bottom, two is at bottom, three. Oh. Uh, I'll keep it on top, just in case. Okay. Then, where's where Abby transforms? Two. Nice. The Demon Lord. You transform step because where's where Abby was step and then I untap it. Oh. It's where's where Abby's ability. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, attack! Uh, yeah, uh, I'll attack Paul. Hmm. No trample though. No That's his. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make it bigger. I'll slip it out the back. Very nice. Oh, wow. Very nice. That's a plus one counter. Yep. And it phases out. Yeah, it phases out. Okay. Do you want to copy it for Ivy? Um, there's no point, no. <laughs> they get bigger too. Uh -huh. This is true. This is true. <laughs> okay, so what's what? I, I die, don't I? Yep, I'm dead. All right. Nice. Phased out. Okay. Over phased out. Phased out. Phased out. Well Thank done, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Definitely not Ivy. Definitely not Ivy. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for a very fun episode of <laughs> Quintessential Commander. Uh, I had a lot of fun with Joda and all the Raghavans that appeared. Uh, honestly, it's actually stronger than I thought. It's <laughs> Joda is very powerful. It's deceptively powerful. Cascade? You didn't expect something like that out of a basically Cascade? Yeah, but it's legendary spells only. Yes. Legendary, yeah, spells only. Yeah, legendary Cascade. I think, I mean, I think I was pretty lucky with the Cascade. No, Kari Zeb and then immediately after that Raghavan. Yeah. Very flavorful. Yeah. So, yeah, fun deck. I, I should have saved uh, my mana instead of going for the double <laughs> strike. Yeah, first jump! <laughs> if I saved my mana, I might have won, I think. Uh, nothing we haven't seen before for Ghana, but having it all on one card is amazing. And I think it represents a axis in Ragnar's deck building that we don't see very often. Like you don't expect to have a full hand with Ragnar's. Mm. Yeah, but even even without Suvira, I think Ghana can do it on her own. It's just sick. But yes, I, I, I will say that as everyone else will say that it was the Soaring. Yeah, the Soaring won me the game. It was the Soaring. <laughs> the Soaring won me the game. You did win. Yes. Won me the game. <laughs> I drew 10 cards in Ragnos. I won the game. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I won the game. I think I think I learned a valuable lesson today in not to not to shoot your shot too early. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and sort of make yourself public enemy number one by getting your, your degenerate combo piece <laughs> yes. out with nothing to protect it, and then you end up just getting slaughtered by Esmond. Well, it was a combined effort, you know. Kind of. It's mostly kind you. Of. Okay, yeah, <laughs> just, but either way, I mean, it's a fun, fun archetype, it so is. I'll definitely give it another go again. So, Ivy, I definitely did not play Ivy today. I definitely played Dreamtail Heron and Pouncing Sword Shark. It's a lot of fun to play uh, non legendary creatures as your commander. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, definitely give that a shot. Very interesting clone deck, I must say. I, I, I think seeing it in action kind of changed my. Changed my mind a little bit. You know, I thought I was just gonna copy stuff and be boring, but it copied stuff and was interesting. <laughs> <laughs>
So good job, Paul. Congratulations. Job, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next time we attack Paul. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Uh, next episode, most likely, we'll be doing the Dominaria Commander. Uh, so there are two Commander decks. Of course, it's a five-color deck. And we'll be bringing, maybe we'll bring back some of the patron suggested uh, Dominaria United Commanders, or we'll bring back some of the Commanders from here. Let us know what you want to see. And of course, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share the video, laugh at us. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yep, yep. Bye-bye.